Hello class. I would like to talk about a wonderful part of Hawaiian culture and a very nice symbol of the aloha spirit in Hawaii. Today I want to talk about the lei. Leis are mainly flowers strung together and tied so that it forms a garland of flowers that is usually worn around a person's neck. Leis can also be worn on the head. This is called a lei po'o. Many different kinds of flowers are used. My favorite kinds of leis use flowers that smell good, that have a beautiful fragrance. For example, pikake, which is called jasmine in English. This is a double tuberose lei. This is a yellow ginger lei. And look at this beautiful white ginger lei. This is pakalana. This is Pua Kenny Kenny. These leis smell wonderful, but might be a bit expensive. A less expensive lei is a plumeria lei. Plumeria trees are quite common in Hawaii, so you can pick the flowers yourself and make your own lei. The plumeria flower has a nice sweet smell. Some leis don't have any special fragrance, but simply look wonderful. This is a carnation lei. This is a double purple orchid lei. Some leis aren't made of flowers, but rather leaves. This is a maile lei, a vine that grows in Hawaii. The leaves have a nice fragrance. Sometimes the maile is combined with flowers, as in this maile pikake lei. There are also leis made out of money feathers, shells, and candy. Leis are a symbol of aloha, so they are used to welcome visitors to Hawaii. They are also given and worn on special occasions, such as birthdays, weddings, and anniversaries. Sometimes people will place a lei on a grave. People congratulate students who have graduated from high school and college by presenting them with leis after the graduation ceremony. This is a picture of me when I graduated from the University of Hawaii. It was a very happy day for me and receiving so many leis really added to the joy of the day. Entertainers and performers often wear leis, from Elvis Presley to Bruno Mars. Singers and hula dancers. Leis are also worn in parades. Look, even the horse has a lei. By the way, May 1st is called May Day in Hawaii, and we say May Day is Lei Day. Many elementary schools hold special May Day programs in which the children sing songs of Hawaii and dance the hula. The children usually wear aloha attire and, of course, leis. I think leis are a wonderful part of Hawaiian culture. Mahalo for listening to my presentation and aloha.